Hi guys, one of you guys asked if it was possible to make a square version of the round placement I made last year. Of course you can and I thought it would be fun to make this a tutorial so that others can make it too. This time the square version of the round placement. Hope you enjoy it and if you make one too, show me, I love to see your creations. For this tutorial you need about one skein of eco cotton. This is from Lummy Yarns, 100 grams, 160 meters. It is 90% cotton and 10% polyester. Of course, you can use the jute twine that I used for the round placement, but due to the pandemic and the lockdown we are in right now, I can't get my hands on the jute twine. So, of course, I, I could order it online, but it'd take way too long. So, this was the yarn I had. In my stash so I film it today in this yarn. I use a five millimeter crochet hook and four stitch markers. So let's begin. We start this project with a magic ring. So place the yarn on your hand, wrap it around your fingers, slide your hook under the first, grab the second, give it a twist and chain one. And then you have your magic loop. For the placemat I use the linked double crochet, therefore insert in the second chain from the hook. The loop on your hook doesn't count as a chain, so here you see the first, here is the second. So insert in the second chain, yarn over, pull up a loop. This loop counts as your yarn over for the double crochet. So instead of yarn over and then make your double crochet, we made our yarn over like this. Then insert in the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now you see here a horizontal bar. That's the place where you insert your hook. So instead of yarning over and make your double crochet, you insert your hook under the horizontal bar, like this, and then yarn over, pull up a loop. So this is a yarn over for our double crochet, then insert in the, in the magic ring and finish your double crochet. So our next stitch is a linked triple crochet and I try to find it on the internet or in my crochet books. If that is an existing stitch I couldn't find it so I try to come up with my own version. So therefore we first yarn over, then insert under the horizontal bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, and then insert in the ring, yarn over and pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this is a taller stitch because this is a triple crochet, but you see the horizontal bars here and they continue. So mark your triple crochet with a stitch marker. That is optional, but I think it is easy to find when you work up your square, you can find your corners because the triple crochet is your corner. You can know, you know where you make your corner stitch. Okay, we repeat this three more times. So insert, and now you see when the triple crochet, you see two horizontal bars, one here and one here. We use the one next to the other. So in this one we insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert in the ring and make a double crochet. You can shrink your ring a little bit if you think that is easier to work. Insert under the horizontal bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert in the ring and make a double crochet. Yeah. 
Now we have two. We need one linked double crochet. And then we make a linked triple crochet. So after the linked triple crochet, we have three double crochet, linked double crochet, and now we make a linked triple crochet again. So therefore, yarn over, find the horizontal bar, insert, and pull up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook. Then insert in the, uh, in the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Mark your triple crochet with a stitch marker, so you know where to make your corner stitch in the next round. Then find the horizontal bar, the last one, and then insert, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert in the ring, and make a double crochet. Two more, so insert, we make another one, insert, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. Now we make a linked triple crochet again. So yarn over, insert under the horizontal bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, insert in the magic ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Mark this stitch with a stitch marker and make three double crochet again. Link double crochet. So find the horizontal bar that's next to the others, insert, pull up a loop, and make a link double crochet. We make two more. And if you haven't seen the tutorial on the round, placemat you can click in the corner or click on the link in the description box there you can find the tutorial. We have three normal link double crochets and now we make a link a linked triple crochet again so yarn over insert under the horizontal bar pull up a loop Three loops on your hook, insert in the magic ring, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Link this last triple crochet of this round. And you see we have two double crochet in this beginning, and we need three double crochet in this, because in this, on this side, because we have three on every side. The chain two from the beginning doesn't count as a stitch, so we need one more link double crochet. So insert under the horizontal bar, yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. We now have 16 stitches. So if you have 16 stitches, then your stitch count is correct. You can close the magic ring by pulling the tail end and then you see we have a little square. Okay, there are two ways to build up your placemat. We can close our round by making a slip stitch in the first stitch and then make a chain two and start your row again or your round again or we don't close our rounds and keep continuing in the round. So then you just pick up the horizontal bar here, pull up a loop and then insert in the first stitch of round one. And make a double crochet.
So here you have round one done. For round two, you chain two. This doesn't count as a stitch. This is just to bring up your yarn. Then insert in the second chain from the hook and pull up a loop. So now we can start our first linked double crochet. So this is our first stitch. Insert, pull up a loop and make a double crochet. Then we make a double crochet in every stitch until the corner stitch. So in this case it is only one. So we make another link double crochet. And then we are at the corner. And in the corner we make two linked double crochet, one linked triple crochet, two linked double crochet. That is every time when you are at the corner. So insert under the horizontal bar, pull up a loop, insert in the corner. Oh, I have a dog hair. And make a linked double crochet. We make another one in the same stitch. So we have two. And then we make a linked triple crochet. So yarn over. Insert under the horizontal bar, pull up a loop and insert in the same stitch. And then finish your triple crochet. And in this stitch, we place the stitch marker again, because this is our stitch where we make our next corner stitch. So we need two, two more link double crochets in this stitch. Because every corner gets two linked double crochet, one linked triple crochet, and two linked double crochet all in the corner stitch. So I now have five stitches in this corner. And now it's time to work this way. Make sure you work, you don't forget to work your first stitch because this stitches, these stitches can cover this stitch sometimes, so pull them to the side and then you see here your first next stitch. We make one link double crochet in every stitch across until you are at the next stitch marker. Like this, and now we are at the corner again. And in the corner, we make two linked double crochet, a linked triple crochet, and two linked double crochet. So you can take out your stitch marker, insert, pull up a loop, and in the corner stitch, we start our group of stitches. So to a linked double crochet, then yarn over under the horizontal bar up a loop, insert in the corner again, and make a triple double crochet, a triple crochet. Put back your stitch marker, so you recognize your corner stitch. If you don't want to use the stitch markers, that's fine as well, but I think it is easy to find your corners like this. Then we need two link double crochet in the same stitch to finish our corner. Like this. And now one link double crochet until the next stitch marker. So repeat this all the way around. And when you are at the beginning again, then I'll meet you back and show you how to move on. I'm at the end of round two. I need one more link double crochet in the last stitch. 
So let's do that. And then it's time to close the round again. So pull up your loop, take out your hook, find your first stitch, insert back to front on the two loops, grab your loop and pull through. And here you have your round two done. So. For round three, and every round throughout this pattern, you can repeat round two. So repeat round two until the placement is the size you want. So we make a chain two. So it starts with a chain two. This doesn't count as a stitch. And make link double crochets until the corner stitch. And in every corner stitch you make a you make two link double crochet, one link triple crochet, two linked double crochet. And then one in every stitch across until you are at the next stitch marker. You can build up your square like this. Just make as many rounds as you need to get the desired size. I'm working on my last round. And I almost used up my whole skein. So I think I finish the skein or have a little bit left at the end of this last round. I wanted to show you a couple of things before we end the video. You see the line here where we start and end the rounds. You can close the rounds with a slip stitch or you close your rounds like I did. But if you don't like the line here in the center, you can move it to the side. You do that by working up the beginning by starting a chain three and then a triple crochet and then three double crochet triple crochet three double crochet triple crochet then you move your line a little bit to the side to the corners i tried that out i didn't really like it because then you have one corner that is a little bit less nice than the other three but if you think you want that, then you, you can do that by changing your starting point. You see my work also doesn't lay flat. It don't lay flat. You can fix that, that is totally normal. You can fix that by blocking and steaming your work. So make your work wet, block it and let it dry in that position and then your work is nice and straight. If you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed yet and you want to see more videos, click the subscribe button. And if you have a question or a suggestion for the next tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Love to read them. Hope you liked it and I hope to see you next time. Bye.